I'm Mike Jordan. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk with you about the business processes associated with Capital Project Information Handover, as well as Utopia, Utopia's positioning in that marketplace. If you look at the traditional processes associated with capital projects, engineering construction companies today use what's called a fast track design build methodology. This allows them to compress the design and build of a of a uh, large capital project such as an offshore oil rig, a refinery, or a chemical plant into uh, two to four years. They're able to do this by making detailed design, procurement, construction, as well as mechanical completion all run in parallel. As you can imagine, this results in an enormous amount of information sharing and change between these various functions as this parallel activity goes on. Traditionally, the EPCs, Engineering Procurement Construction Companies, waited until the very last moment, until the end of this activity, in order to hand over the information to the owner operators. This dump truck handover, as it's described by SAP, which occurred so late in the game, result in uh, the EAM build out taking much longer than uh, the startup of the plant. Quite often, it's one to three years after the plant actually starts before the EAM system reaches full operational readiness. As a result, the production capacity of the plant only ramps up slowly, and in the meantime, the plant is largely operated by specialists because the maintenance system and the material masters, the spare parts, all of this information is, is inaccurate and incomplete until well after startup. As a result, it's, it's not uncommon, and, and in fact, many analysts agree that these inefficiencies quite often result in, in a loss of up to 1% of the total cost of CapEx, CapEx expenditures of a plant. Therefore, for a $1 billion capital project, you can see that the inefficiencies and the, the loss production associated with this uh, method of operation is, is very large and the impacts are the ones that you see listed here. If we look instead at, at best practices in this space, as recommended by SAP and, and other thought leaders, it, it involves the deployment of an asset information staging area from the very early moments of, of design, right after front-end engineering design, in fact, and years before the SAP EAM system is employed, to begin the phase progressive handover of vendor designs and documents, taking that information uh, handed over from the EPCs from the earliest possible moments to do that validation, enrichment, transformation, and loading, and the management of change such that we can get the operational systems loaded in time for startup of the plant, resulting in immediate fully operational EAM systems, resulting in the design production capacity of the plant ramping to full speed very quickly with the benefits that you see listed here. Now this, this is further complicated because the information provided in, in uh, this information handover is a combination of drawings, documents, and data. So it's really a document-centric as well as a data-centric information management problem. And frankly, it's, it's beyond the reach of any one technology to address these issues. Because the, the information about a piece of equipment, for instance, is specified in an engineering drawing in the piping and instrumentation diagram. It's also referenced in the documents provided from the vendors, and it's also reflected in the data that's, that's required to load SAP. So this document-centric and data-centric business problem is the challenge that's faced today when you talk about uh, enhanced capital project Fortunately, there have been a lot of smart people working on this problem and thinking about it in, in organizations such as Epistle and, and Fiatech, the sponsor of ISO 15926, has built out a standards-based methodology for information handover in capital projects. This, methodolo <laughs> this methodology uh, provides the framework that allows you to build the phased approach to the problem. It's not a big bang approach, but allows you to uh, assess the business value, address most important things first, and build this phase methodology for information handover. 
In fact, this is the approach that's used by Utopia, fully aligned with uh, the ISO 15926 standards and the broader methodology is defined. As I mentioned, it's beyond a single technology to address the business problem. But with SAP, Utopia is able to, to develop a capital project information handover environment that uses the broad reach of SAP technologies as well as Utopia team and methodology to take the information from a capital project transmittal as described in the metadata such that information of any type of document drawing or data, whether it's work down structures, purchase orders, material requests, data sheets, engineering documents and drawings, is validated, transformed, enriched, and approved using the appropriate SAP technology based upon the transmittal document type and context to build the load decks for the broad span of SAP technology such that you can get from the uh, wide variety of documents, drawings, and data in transmittal through a methodology using appropriate SAP technologies to load SAP. To accomplish this, Utopia offers uh, the Utopia Labs Prototyping Center as, as the basis for uh, development prove-out. Utopia has the, the broad reach of SAP as well as SAP partner technologies to look at document-centric and data-centric information, build out the best practices for a, a phased proof of concept and prototype before deployment in keeping with the, the uh, FIATEC and ISO 1592 standards. We're able to build POC scenarios that take uh, typical transmittals, which might include equipment tags, specs, purchase orders, work breakdown structures, and perform the variety of tasks, which might include transmittal management, might include vendor data validation and enrichment, material master validation, creation, schedule validation, or EAM build out. According to the, the client's auditable master data governance processes, build that out, prove it out in Utopia Labs according with FIATEC's methodologies to build that phased capital project information handover solution. Each of these technologies and the underlying demonstrations are available in the broader version of this conversation that uh, you, can, you can arrange through Utopia Client Partner. I appreciate your time today and look forward to working with you. Thanks.